All right, well, I get a video about, I don't know, once a week on this thing of, can you start up so I can hear it run? Well, we're going to do, I guess, a son of a bitch start on the thing. It hasn't been started since, uh, I want to say early June, I'd say. Yeah, early June seems about right. So uh, we're going to try and fire it up. Might take a couple million pulls of steel TS, yeah, steel TS 400. Nothing too, too special. Bought a while back, and I only use it on special occasions, so we can try and fire it up. Come on. Damn it, stupid thing gets stuck. Yeah, hopefully it pops out of that. Uh, shit. Screwdriver. There it is. Okay, there it is. Where's the son of a bitch joke? Start. Put the new recoil on too. left in this tank. If I run out today, I'm going to be screwed. Yep. I think I'm probably going to run out today. That should be awesome. Got to dig through millions of inches of concrete, apparently. So it should be fun. Yeah, I know. Ain't the crap to mix the shit. videos so yeah I guess it's time to get the camera fixed so uh, I guess continue with the video keep watching uh, I know it's gonna sound a little weird but I'm trying to explain now in the video but just go with it there was more clips it would have explained a lot more better than what I'm doing now and uh, I guess the new saying of the day if it fits it ships hell yeah Two Tecumseh flywheels in that one tiny ass box. If it fits, it ships. $10.99.95. That's how much it costs to ship it. Well, uh, Alex is left to there. Get totally. everything all pretty much all in as we're going to get. We kind of sort of ran out of piping. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, pretty much. We still got to come up and over. And because of the way how I changed up the layout, as you saw in the videos there, uh, we were originally supposed to come over here and pipe it in but we piped it over here because there's just way too much dig in there um, so I got to get another elbow actually I got to get two other elbows I uh, actually use those and uh, pretty much the new plan is we're gonna come up with this two foot piece then there's gonna be an elbow elbow down the bottom elbow going across and then pretty much there'll be a short 
one footer piece, which we still have here. And then there'll be ball valve, then pretty much the flex line will come out and then into the heating unit. So, yeah, but that friggin' shit beat me to hell. Like, holy crap, that's a one big ass deep hole. My, my arms, I had to sit down a few times. and It took me uh, exactly five and a half hours to dig all those holes. I came out here at 10 o'clock. I didn't finish till three. Um, so luckily, you know, I was able to get most are all filled back in except for over there because we still got to get the, uh, we got to get a bigger drill bit to go through there because all I have for some reason, my freaking $60 Bosch bit is missing. I found that out the hard way this morning. Because all this seems like I got in here is just, uh, you know, just, nope, it is this way. Now what I got in here is just the tiny ones, only quarter inch. And while my pipe is, I think it's half inch, so that won't work. So my $60 bit is the thing I noticed, and uh, not too happy about that one. But, uh, you know, this is what it is. I'm trying to figure out who the last person I lended it to was, and, you know, hopefully they can uh, return my bit, because that was a very expensive bit. It might have even been more than $60. But uh, he said he's going to grab his from work. He's going to go right through the wall there. And uh, pretty much will be all tapped in tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, we'll get some heat in here. Well, it's actually kind of warm up this week. So we won't need it. So, you know, when it gets cold out and stuff like that, we'll be all set. You know, everything's all up to code and everything. For again, two feet of digging through rock. Like, that sucked. See that big pile in the video there? Holy shit. Like, there, it, there was just... I think what it was was there was the there was my stuff which was the gravel and there was dirt and then I hit the asphalt then I hit the crusher run and underneath the crusher one run was a bunch of like small rocks probably about the size uh, between this container and this tape measure I'd say all laying across the uh, the ground there so I had to dig through all that so that just kind of sort of sucked but, um, you know, friggin' eight, the code here is 18 inches, but I went about two feet, I'd say. It, the, the, the highest that it is is probably right around uh, about 20 inches. So I kind of sort of went over, overdid it, but I figured out if I could, you know, whatever. So hopefully we get everything all tied in tomorrow. I can't get a hold of Michael. He's supposed to finish up the electrical. Still isn't done yet. Still get that guy there to do and that guy there to do and uh some reason when he was over here tightening up the last little guy right there um he said that the drill press shocked him so there must be like a loose ground or something on this thing like i, I never really noticed it before you know i've used it before so he said he had to unplug it and uh i don't know it could just because of the way how that is and there's well actually there is a ground i mean I don't know, that's kind of weird. He said he, he felt it like right here somewhere, or somewhere on this pipe. He said he felt all around all the knobs, but he, he just kept on on this one pipe right here, I guess. So I'll have to figure out, might pop this apart someday and just try and figure out what the deal is. You know, it looks like, oh, how do you get in there? Huh. Maybe these little switches here just come off. Maybe it's just a loose ground, so I'll have to figure that out. Try and figure that one out. Because I don't want to get electrocuted. I already have enough heart problems as it is, you know? Jeez. But uh, anyway, so we're all piped in. And uh, I guess uh, Dwayne's going to be dropping off some power equipment here in a little bit. we got uh, three tractors coming in, getting ready for a chop. And a uh, two, two Toro snowblowers, small ones. And we're going to put that engine on it and a few other odds and parts so you know should be pretty cool uh that'll be this week's project along with many other projects i get going on this week like uh finishing the shop up getting the heat in well, actually the rest of the job's in his hands not mine really i'm just the go-to guy get the uh, shit i guess um we got that to finish up we got my truck i still want to Go down to the junkyard this week. I might, maybe. Sorry about that, guys. I had to add that 
Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow to morning so, I can shoot yeah, down so to the junkyard. Yeah, so I'll go to the junkyard tomorrow, go to Lowe's. Yeah. And then when I, I get back, that. hopefully go down to the junkyard, come by, and on the way back, go to Lowe's, and, pick up some uh, more. he goes, and I pay him. Piping and, and stuff. And I still got the window and, motors uh, to put in my truck. Uh, and I still have the exhaust manifold to do in my truck. And then I just got another thing to do. That was the guy that bought the snowmobile trailer there um, from me. This one out here that's sitting out here. Uh, he should be coming by next Monday from Pitts, uh, no, not Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Friggin, I don't know. He's about five hours away, and uh, he was just calling me. I just called him a little while ago to find out if, if he wants those stickers on the back. Peeled off a left on because I figured I got the tools. I'm a nice guy, and I'll rip them off for him. And he said, yeah, if you could do that, would be awesome, because he's a Plyrus fan. I go, oh, so you're going to get stuck a lot, and you just start laughing, you know. But, um, you know, so... Those stickers will come off, and I might try and save uh, the Bills T Max one, the Pisser one, and the one small Articat one. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to save that big gigantic decal that's on the back because it is just it's big, you know. This piece here is in two pieces, I had to put this on, so yeah, yeah it might come. No, yeah, no, that's not gonna come off easy. So we'll figure that out. No problem. Not a problem. And Dwayne's gonna pick up them shelves too. So, but uh, anyway, so I guess we'll talk to you once uh, Dwayne gets here with all the tractors and stuff like that. Should make a good little ending of a video for you. You know, everyone loves. Actually, just heard a Chevy pull in. Nope. I guess it's just neighbor Jim pulling in. Well, we finally got some Putting more his, tractors. Uh, up. Yeah, it's been a while. I think these Looks might be right the uh, last tractors of the but, season, uh, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, so I guess we'll talk to you in the We get in for the awesome. year, and oh yeah, we got a couple of Toro snow blowers, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, um, yeah, pretty much everything in here, except for that back half of the snow blower is getting all chopped up. I know there's going to be like a few of you guys in the comments saying, shit, this tractor's nicer than my tractor. Yeah, probably, but. Fucking, uh, there's no rear end to it, and it needs a lot of fucking work to it. So, they're all pretty much rats. Nothing, uh, too, too special to get all excited about. Um, you know, we're gonna get a few of them running this and that first before we chop them up. Uh, I think I'll probably work on this one first, because this one here seems like it's gonna be the easiest. And, uh, my friggin' back is killing me after digging friggin' two feet of rock. So, I you don't know, I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully there's no mice in these. That'd be nice for a change. Wow, their filter looks fairly new. It'd be a miracle if this thing just fired right up on its own, but I highly doubt it. What the hell? But uh, I don't know, a few guys in comments saying, hey, how come you haven't got any tractors in? Well, or some slim pickings up here. It's getting pretty close to the end of the season. Season, rather. Um, but all these are getting chopped up. A few MTD pieces of shit here and there. Um, you know, all I'm going to save the tires, transmission, and the engine, I think on this one is blown or seized. Yeah, this one's hydro locked. So we're only saving that, and uh, we got to, you know, chop up the engine and stuff like that. That's pretty much all we're saving off of this guy. Um, maybe this dash, this bottom plate here, these are notorious for rusting out. This one's actually pretty clean. Um, engine, that one's got a 17 horse, newer style Briggs, plastic engine, in tech there. Uh, we're going to save the engine out of it, the hood, tires, seat, and the spindles off of it. Then on this one, we're going to be saving the deck. Uh, this one tire, the other one's junk. Uh, the engine, the hood, possibly the seat, and that's it. Uh, this Toro right here, same deal. Only going to save the gearbox. If it's good, we're unsure about the gearbox. Um, engine, I don't know. Engine turns over, so we're gonna have to get that running. And uh, tires are junk, all driver out of crack, rims are all rusted. And we're gonna save the bottom plate. And we're gonna put the bottom plate onto this guy. This is the chassis for that engine sitting right over there. We're gonna put the engine on this, <coughs> swap everything over there, put the bottom plate on there, put the belt cover on, and it's a done nice shiny snow blower. Uh, also, we got this errands back here. Engine seems to like it's got compression. Um, we're just going to pull the engine off it, save the locking differential, and the rest of it is going to scrap. Tires are all junk. 
So, but anyway, it gives you a couple videos to watch here and there. Uh, I'm not going to be doing all this tomorrow because uh, it's just friggin', it's just way too much of a beating on you if you chop up three tractors at once. I mean, I can do two, but after two, it really starts to take abuse on your body, if you know what I'm talking about. So, that's the plan. We'll maybe do one tomorrow, one the next day, and one the next day. Because I ain't got like a whole lot of time this week to be screwed around. I got enough shit to do this week. Um, and I still got a freaking house to finish painting. Or start painting, rather, because I still haven't even started painting it. I've scraped it. The, all the stuff's clean. Uh, I just got to go there and start taping off the windows and doors and this and that. And just spray the fucking house with the spray shit. Um... And I don't know, I'll have to figure some, I don't know, maybe Wednesday, start over there. Get some of that going. Maybe start early at like 8 or 9, something like that, and then clock out around 3. Um, so I don't know, and then tomorrow i got to take a little bit of a field trip. Might bring you guys along to a uh, power equipment dealership that wants to sell us a bunch of engines. A couple of Briggs Vanguards, a couple of V-Twins. I'm talking not like one or three engine I'm talking like 40 plus engines um, for about eh, I'm not gonna tell you the price but a really 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 cheap price we'll put it this way under five hundred dollars we'll put it that way so anyway so we'll have to take a little maybe a little field trip tomorrow hopefully get the heater going and uh, you know I'm not gonna need it this week but I will need it eventually and uh, hopefully go down the scrap, not the scrap here, the junkyard, pick up uh, my window motors, and oh yeah, we gotta go to this probably next week, we'll have to go back to the scrap yard and then scrap the chassis, bear go my torches, and uh, cut them all in half again, because that seemed to work out a lot better. But anyway guys, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow, until then, take it easy on your body, because digging a two foot hole through a bunch of rock and asphalt, and it's just not worth it, not worth it. Anyway. We'll take we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. See you.